Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video to try and figure out what I can wear every day. <laughs> I've spoken quite a lot on here about my struggles like post having a baby on like my body and figuring out what to wear. Before having a baby I really never like thought about my figure or my weight or my size. I just like I wasn't totally happy with my body but I kind of wasn't bothered either way. It just really wasn't something I thought about and it's come as quite a shock actually how insecure and like not that happy I feel with my body since having a baby. Like the first six weeks after having a baby I was like my body is amazing I can't believe what it's done and then since then I just feel a little bit like I'm living in someone else's body I'm starting to feel gradually better and I know it can take a really long time you know you're pregnant for nine months so it can take nine months after like having a baby to feel back to normal maybe you won't ever feel back to your old self it's just there's just a lot of emotions and things to think about and it's quite tricky so today I'm gonna be figuring that out. I'm gonna clear out my wardrobe, see what clothes I have in there that fit me, that don't fit, uh, maybe like fall back in love with some old items that I wore before I was pregnant. And I'm also gonna be going out and doing a bit of shopping and buying some of like the basics that I don't have in my wardrobe right now. Before I get started with all of that though, this video is sponsored by Missima, one of my favorite ever brands. I'm so excited that I'm now a Missima ambassador, which means I'm gonna be working with them over the next few months. And the timing is perfect because they've just released their third collection with Lucy Williams, who's like the coolest girl ever. If you don't follow Lucy, definitely go check out her Instagram. They've just released their third collaboration together. It's called 1987, which is the year I was born. I'm so excited because whenever you go into shops and they have like jumpers and t-shirts with the year on, it always says like 1990. It's never 1987. So finally, something is 1987 and I'm very excited about it. I literally like signed up on the wait list to get the first email when it was released. It's such a cool collection. It's actually a massive collection as well with some amazing gold jewelry and also some like silver pieces in there as well. The collection, as you can tell by the title, is inspired by the late 80s and early 90s, Lucy's childhood. And I think she took a lot of her inspiration from her mum's jewellery collection, with, which I think is so nice and like really nostalgic. Although I was saying the other day that when I think of like jewellery in my childhood, I think of those like slap bracelets, if anyone remembers those. And also the like tattoo chokers, the stretchy ones, and lots of like fluorescent scrunchies. So Lucy and her mum were obviously a lot more stylish than I was then. But there are some really, really gorgeous pieces and I thought I would show you some of my favourites in this video. I've been wearing them so much recently and you guys have probably seen my Instagram stuff. So let me take you over to my little like jewellery collection and I'll pick out some of my favourite bits. This little jewellery case is from Oliver Bonus. I absolutely love it. It's got like a little door and then you can hang your necklaces in there. And then three shelves as well. So I really, really love the bracelets. They've got these flat chains that just sit really nicely. They've also got a necklace version of this and I absolutely love that. And then I also like this one. I'm gonna link everything down below in the description box so you can see the products on the website. I absolutely love this bracelet. And again, a matching necklace. And I find that these more like plainer styles are really good for layering. So that's what I use those for. And then you can layer them with the more kind of standout pieces like this necklace which is so gorgeous, I'm so in love with it. This one hangs a little bit longer, so you can wear something like that and then layer a couple of the shorter necklaces like these two next to it, so the chain one and then the snake one and they layer so nicely. So here are some of the earrings. I think the two that are my favourites are these smaller ones. Again, I will link them down below so you guys can have a proper look. I absolutely love these and they're also really lightweight. They don't like pull on the ears at all, which is what I like. So these smaller ones and then these are slightly larger and they've got like the double, the double hoop going on. Can you see that? So, so chic. They're just such good quality. They feel so nice to wear. This is my favourite combination at the moment. This is the mini cameo necklace. Let me just put that on. So that one layered with this, which is such a gorgeous gold chain. I really, really love this one. And these also work really well on the Missima jewellery that I've got from like previous collections. I think those two look really cool together, especially if you're wearing like a t-shirt or something really simple, it can just like poke out the top. So I've been wearing those two together on like more like simple days and then just adding more on days where I like want to jazz it up a little bit. So I'm going to link down below in the description box my, I think I'll do my five favourite pieces from the 1987 collection at the moment. It's hard to pick five, but I think I'll pick some that like go well together. So 
like earrings, a few necklaces, bracelets. They all work really nicely together and I've just loved like playing around with them and wearing them with different things. So it's amazing that I've got some jewelry that makes me feel really good. And when I wear that jewelry, it makes me feel really like cool, which I just think when you're feeling like not 100% happy, like in your body, little accessories and touches like that really make all the difference, especially earrings. like. It feels really special to me to wear earrings. So like on my non-mum days when she's not gonna like yank them out of my ears, I'll put on some like really nice earrings and I just, I love it. Okay, so yesterday I did a bit of shopping and I've watched back the footage and I feel like I come across quite down in it. And I really wanted to make the point before like going ahead with this video that how I feel right now about like my body and my style is no reflection on anyone else and anyone else's size. Like I, I couldn't care less what size anyone is like, it's about the change in my own body and just how weird that feels. And I think anyone else who's had a baby can relate to that. I think because it's not gradual, it's pretty, it feels pretty sudden to suddenly be like a completely different size in clothes and not really know what suits you. So I really wanted to say that. I think it came as a little bit of a shock when I was trying on clothes yesterday. So I'm gonna put in the footage now of me um, when I went shopping. But stick around because after this, I'm gonna sort through my wardrobe and I think what I'm gonna do is try and rediscover the pieces I already have. Instead of going out and kind of trying to buy a load of new things, which clearly I struggled with, as you will see. I think I can make work what I've already got, hopefully. So here's me doing a little bit of shopping. Okay, first task of the day is to get a new bra. I'm still wearing my non-underwired bras and they're not very flattering at all and they don't make me feel good, so desperately need a new bra that has some like support in there. Okay, these are the ones I'm going for, the sumptuously soft full cup t-shirt bra because I'm quite wide on the sides, so these are full cup. I just need to find some that are a bit lower at the front for when I wear a lower top. They don't seem to have any here, um, but these are great. They don't do them in nude in this style, so I got the nude in a slightly different style. They're perfect. I also got fitted in the changing room and they're really good. They measure you around and then they just do your cup. You can keep a bra on to find some places to make you take your bra off, which is just weird. Okay, I'm just in Zara and I haven't found one thing I want to try on. Um, I'm finding this a lot trickier than I thought. I just don't really know what my style is anymore. I don't know what to try on. Okay, I've taken a break. I've come to Gleam because I haven't seen them in a while. I went to Zara and Cos. I tried on a top in Cos and it just, it just looked awful. I'm hoping that when I go to Topshop, I'll find some good things. I think I'm going to try and find a good pair of jeans. I like, try and get the basics sorted and then work up from there. Okay, I'm in the Topshop personal shopping changing rooms. Highly recommend if you just want like a big spacious room to try things on, you don't have to pay for the service. I definitely want to find some jeans. And then I've also picked out some tops and some jumpsuits. There's not that much that I'm loving here at the moment, but there's a few things that I want to try. So I've got a few different styles of jeans, and then I've got a few shirts as well, and some jumpsuits to try. Okay, I'm trying on the awesome jeans. I used to be a size 28, so I thought I'd try on the 30. Nope, nope, guess I'll try the 32. <laughs> Okay, these are the Jamie jeans, which are the ones I wore before I got pregnant. Um, they fit me in the size 30. They definitely look different to before. I feel like I'm a little bit self-conscious of this area, so I'm not sure if I would tuck tops in, but they're nice and like tight on the legs, so they're pretty handy to have. I'd probably roll roll them up once. Um, and yeah, it's weird to, it feels weird to wear like normal jeans, but it's nice. They definitely feel like they kind of like suck you in. These are the editor jeans, which I like the style of, but the 30 definitely do not fit me. Um, I'm gonna try the size up, but it might just be like the style of the jeans that just don't fit. And these are the straight leg jeans, which also do not fit me in the 30. So I'm gonna try um, the straight ones and the editor ones in a size up and see if those will fit. This is a shirt that I picked out. It's very see-through, so I think I would need a little black vest top to tuck in and wear underneath. It is quite short, but I think if you're wearing high-waisted jeans, it's okay. I like the print, it's kind of like hearts. It looks like a leopard print. I'm just not sure about this collar. It's maybe a little bit frou frou -y. but it, I don't know, it is nice. I can't quite decide. I think I kind of wish it didn't go all the way, all the way over the shoulders like that. I'm gonna come back to this one and decide, but it is pretty. Okay, next up is this polka dot top. I think they had a dress version of this at some point. I may have missed it. I, I like it. I feel like it's a bit different. I like how it kind of goes out like that, and then it's also quite a low V, which kind of suits me. And then the arms as well, a little bit like poofed out. I just know all the technical terms, don't I? I think that's nice. Again, quite short. All the tops here seem to be quite short, but 
maybe I'm just a bit more self-conscious than I need to be about my hips right now. I do think this would be nice for like a work day, meetings. I think I'm gonna have to have two wardrobes now, like mum day, work day. Um, and mum days might just be like lots of baggy t-shirts. So I think this is nice for a work day. Again, a very easy kind of lightweight, easy to wear like shirt top. This one's got kind of interesting sleeves, which I quite like. I think it's also a little bit see-through, but I can just get some like black little vest tops to wear underneath. I like the neckline. I like the, the kind of animal print. I'm not sure about how I feel about the sleeves. Like, can you see? I quite like this one, but I'm, I'm not sure. Also, I got this from the tool section because I thought it would be a little bit longer. Yes, I love this silk printed shirt. Again, this like pajama style collar suits me much better than like a high, like stiff collar. Really like the print. It's a little bit short as are all the tops here, but I think it kind of works. I like the bellowed sleeves. Yeah, I think, I think that's nice. I just can't, I can't lift my arms because then you'll see my tummy. I thought I'd try on some jumpsuits. Oh my God, jumpsuits. Okay, so I feel like the deal is they either have to be like loose and baggy or no. And this one I didn't realize um, is quite fitted. I got it in a 12. I mean, if I, first of all, like so tight on my boobs and then it's like tum central and then it like gets tight here, tight around my hips. I mean, this is the... <laughs> have you ever seen anything more unflattering in your life? Wow, I actually thought this one would look good. <laughs> this one in a 12 isn't quite so bad, but I still feel like it's not that flattering. And I think I've got other jumpsuits um, that look better. I've got one from French Connection that I really like. Um, I could probably try this in a 14, but I'm just not sure of the like cream and silver together. I don't think it's my fave. And also you definitely can't wear black knickers with it. And I basically all I own is black knickers. So probably not gonna go for this one. I like the green of this one. I definitely prefer the thinner fabric over the denim jumpsuits. Um, I'm gonna try Arctic Fair for 14 in this because it's just, it's too tight around this area. Like it's, I wouldn't be able to sit down in it. Um, so I'm gonna see, and I think boiler suits look cool when they're oversized as well. So I'm gonna see if they've got a 14 in this one. This dress would have been really nice if I could zip it up. You guys should definitely buy it. They don't have it in my size. <laughs> These are the editor jeans in the 32. Um, so they do fit now. I'm just not sure if they're flattering. I don't know if it's just because I'm used to seeing myself in skinny jeans. It looks a bit weird to me. I'm not sure this is a flattering shape on me. I'm gonna try the straight ones and see what they're like. These are the straight leg. Um, they just about fit in the 32. I think they are more flattering than the editor ones, but I'm still not sure. And also I'm not sure if I'd be able to sit. Oh, I guess they probably will stretch a bit. They feel quite tight when I sit down. I just can't work out if straight leg jeans suit me. I feel like they make me look wider. Don't think I'm into them, if I'm honest. I'm just gonna go grab some more Jamie jeans. I just realized that they were size 32. That's why they fit compared to the others. So definitely a 32. Okay, so as you saw in those clips, I got three pairs of jeans um, and I went for the Jamie's. I really wanted to find another pair of jeans, but the other styles just didn't suit me. So I've got these in this wash I'm wearing and I've got a lighter wash and then I've got black. And I actually also bought some from Marks and Spencers this morning, which are called the Lily. And they're a nicer kind of looser jean. They're a bit more of like a straight leg and they, they were really nice. They're really like soft and stretchy. I think that's what works for me. And then I got three tops. This polka dot one, this kind of heart print that looks like animal print. And then this spotty one. They're all quite smart shirts. I think that's what I've realized that the kind of smarter look suits me more, which is tricky because on like mum days when I want to be relaxed, I just want to like find some nice t-shirts that suit me. But it's also nice to just have a few nice tops I can wear to like work days and events and stuff. And if I'm going out in the evening. So I'm happy with that little haul. Now what I need to do is go through my wardrobe. So I've done this already once as having a baby right at the beginning where I needed just to have things on hand that I could wear. But now I'm definitely out of like the maternity clothes and like maternity jeans and things like that. And I had a lot of tracksuit bottoms and stuff because I was spending a lot of time at home. And I've kind of run out of space for the nice new things to go in. So I need to clear out my wardrobe and kind of reorganize it a bit. This always takes such a long time, but I need to just kind of get on with it.
is where all my jeans and trousers were. So as you can see, pretty much everything's gone because they were all maternity jeans. I've just got two pairs of jeans there and two hoodies. I've got a couple of trousers in this part that I need to try on. This is my try on pile of things I'm not sure if they still suit me or fit me. I've then sorted out my tops. So I've got shirts and then I've got kind of like silky shirts and tops and then a couple of jumpers at the back. And then over here, I've just done a pile of storage. So like maternity clothes and then giveaway clothes that don't fit me or I don't like or I didn't wear enough. Thinking I probably didn't have to go and buy some new hangers yesterday. <laughs> my underwear drawer desperately needs help. But I'm not sure I need to do that in this video. So I've got like pajamas, I mean overflowing, awful. And then I've got tops overflowing with vest tops, maternity vest tops I don't even wear. These are the drawers I really need to sort out. And then I've got jumpers and t-shirts. I think with t-shirts I might have to try them on and see, but I'm tempted to keep them, hoping that even if they don't fit now, they might one day. I also just need to like tidy up these piles badly. As I empty each drawer, I'm just giving it a little wipe down with my Method Surface Wipe. What is it? Multi-surface spray and a little cloth because it gets a little bit dusty in here. I've got two drawers almost completely free now that I've got rid of all my kind of nursing tops, desktops and stuff. I've got a lot of things to try on to see if they still fit me, but I'm thinking of now moving my t-shirts back to a drawer because I put them here while I had on my maternity clothes, but I think they are better in a drawer. And I'm also going to try and cut down the amount of t-shirts I have because I think this is just... A little bit crazy. I've done the t-shirt drawer, kept quite a lot. I just, I wish I could hang my t-shirts. I could hang them down here with the trousers. It seems a bit silly to hang them, but I find that they just get so creased when they're folded up and I end up like shoving them back in the drawer. Let me know if any of you guys hang your t-shirts. I'm thinking about it, but for now, they're gonna live in there. Now I'm just gonna go through the jumpers. Oh my God, I just found this skirt, which I absolutely loved from, I think it was, yeah, ASOS, but it's a size 10 and it just doesn't fit and it's not gonna fit and I don't want to put that pressure on myself to ever fit back in it. So um, that's going to have to go in the giveaway pile. But gutted, I, I took such a nice photo wearing the skirt, like sitting on a step, if anyone remembers it. Okay, that is sorted. Look how much I've got rid of that doesn't fit. Um, and now I just need to do this left-hand cupboard, which should be pretty much okay. There might be a few maternity things that need to come out. These are dresses and jumpsuits, and I think a couple of kind of jackets, blazer type things. Okay, that cupboard is done. A couple of jumpsuits, um, dresses and blazers. So this is my pile of stuff to try on. I've got things for summer, I have stuff to give away. I've got maternity clothes. I've got clothes to like recycle if they're just really gross, gross and can't be given away. Now I very much need a lunch break. A lot of my vest tops that I had from before that were kind of loose vest tops, which is a style I like, are now really cropped and very tight. So I'm gonna have to change them because I just don't like the look of like a tight vest top. I prefer when it's looser. There are some things like this shirt, which I loved from And Other Stories, that because I think I'm just like much broader, like my rib cage is wider, I can't really wear this because if I move it will definitely split. But I'm not sure if that's something that changes, if my like ribs will go down or <laughs> I'll become less broad. I'm not really sure whether to keep it or not because I do love the shirt but it definitely doesn't fit me. Right now I just need like one size up. Okay, this part's getting given away and this part's going back in the wardrobe. By the way, both trousers fit me so huge success. One of them's maternity but they don't really look like they are. Okay, I'm done. I've sorted through my wardrobe and there were a lot more like nicer tops than I thought I had and actually a couple of trousers fitted me which was really exciting so I've got like two pairs of trousers and three pairs of jeans and I think that will get me through and I don't think I'm going to do any more shopping at the moment because I think I just need to like let my body settle and find like its natural shape and size. It's still early days, it's almost been four months. I'm actually feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm trying to like eat healthy, although it's kind of hard because you need the energy as well when you're like looking after a baby all the time. I've started mummy baby yoga, I'm going to start reformer pilates soon and then we will just see what happens over the next year. I got a message from someone saying, um, most people have been really positive, I did get a message from someone saying that I should be more body positive and I thought that was kind of an interesting I did message her back she didn't reply to me because I thought it'd be like an interesting conversation but I just feel like being body positive is very important but it could be as equally damaging if you're faking it if I was kind of saying I feel great I've never felt better than 
other new mums out there may kind of see that and then feel bad about themselves and feel like they were really alone in how they were feeling. So although I feel like I'm being a bit negative about my own body at the moment, I think it's helpful to be honest and realistic for anyone else who's also feeling the same. So you can follow me along on this journey and hopefully soon I will feel kind of better in myself. I am definitely starting to just wearing like a normal t-shirt and jeans and oh my god buying a new bra is life-changing. I feel so great having a good bra that fits like with underwire. I would definitely recommend doing that. So we shall see. At the moment I don't feel 100% but I'm definitely kind of getting there. So thank you guys for watching this video. I know it was a bit of a mashup of everything but I kind of like watching those videos so I thought you would too. Uh, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!